Yeah. It's a call. You have the right. You are he has a billion year contract. Why would you lie like that? All you guys do, he said it's a library, then he says a bookstore. You said it's a party. It's a call. 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 Oh man, they're gonna get your information. They're gonna use it against your family. It's a cult. It's Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard. Yeah. Amidst the throngs of tourists, street performers, and vagabonds on Hollywood Boulevard. A ragtag group of young vigilantes are taking on the Church of Scientology by live streaming daily to their combined millions of followers on YouTube and TikTok, hoping to disrupt new recruitment and expose the inner workings of an institution that has long been shrouded in mystery and controversy. Welcome to church. As far as religions go, Scientology is the new kid on the block. Born from the imagination of American science fiction writer L. Ron Hubbard in the 1950s. He would have it that 75 million years ago, humans were invaded by destructive and dangerous alien souls. Only by Scientology can we exorcise them through costly personality testing, auditing and self-help courses. After many years and much money, those most deserving are saved, deemed clear of bad alien energy. A protest against ridding oneself of evil alien energies. I had to go down to Hollywood Boulevard to investigate for myself what is actually going on. Hey, can I ask you a couple questions real quick? Um, What's the overall goal? And to end Scientology. And how, how is the progress? I know that you guys made some dent here in Hollywood. That's the number one tourist attraction on Hollywood Boulevard right now. Scientology? Yeah, that's where we're at. People are learning about Scientology. Listen, Scientology is dependent upon people not knowing what Scientology is. They need to use deception. People are now learning what Scientology is. And again, it's synonymous with the term, it's a cult. I was born into it. So there was no, there was no like outside schooling, outside life, outside friends, outside anything. You're completely shut out from the world. And yeah, it's, it's, that's the definition of a cult. It's definitely all of that. In a groundbreaking lawsuit against Scientology and its leader, David Miscavige, former Scientologists alleged that beginning from childhood, they were required to sign a billion year contract and commit a lifetime of service to Scientology, providing unpaid or extremely low paid labor, including landscaping, food service, and janitorial work, regularly enduring verbal abuse, crowded living conditions, and sleep deprivation, and repeatedly warned that those who attempted to leave Scientology could suffer awful fates, including death. I might also add that Shelley Miscavige, the first lady of Scientology and the wife of David Miscavige, hasn't been seen in public since 2007. While her whereabouts are still currently unknown, several media outlets have speculated that Shelley is being held at a secretive Scientology compound called Twin Peaks, where she may be undergoing, quote, investigations, which include confessions, repentance, and submission. Yes, right now I'm on my, this is my cigarette break. He's a very, very hard, hard work person. I didn't buy him for the, for the, for the seminar. Here's what we should do, yeah. Uh-huh. He doesn't seem to have a lot of time. Yeah, he just, yeah. Let me show you just the short version. Yeah. You know, like, I really don't have time to go in. Yeah, just get in there, yes. You can do both the seminar, it's only 50 dollars per person. How do they recruit, like, what is their sales pitch to get people in there? Well, listen, they start off with deception. Often they're talking about, hey, do you want a free personality test? You want a free IQ test? You want a free stress test? Do you want to see a free movie? And you're on Hollywood Boulevard where you have all these theaters down there and you're walking down the street on vacation and you say, hey, you want to see a free movie? And they're thinking, oh, wow, yeah, it sounds cool. Little do they know, it's a 20-minute movie about the book Dianetics. And the recruitment par- process starts there. They, they prey on people, try to get information from them, try to get money from them. They get your information, they're gonna harass you for the rest of your life. Are there specific types of people they target or is it just everybody? I'm listening, they'll target anybody who they think they can get money from, but they're actually gonna target people who are most vulnerable. People who are down on their luck, people who are are searching for something, people who are disconnected from family, disconnected from society, and they prey upon that. And again, they then try to get you into the Sea Org where you're gonna work, you're essentially a slave. You're working 110 hours a week 
for zero dollars and a forty-seven dollar allowance. Preying on the most vulnerable stands in sharp contrast to the high-profile celebrity associations the church has tried to cultivate over the last half century. Folks like Tom Cruise, John Travolta, and Elizabeth Moss, which have long lent Scientology a veneer of glamour and legitimacy. It's something that has helped me incredibly in my life. Yeah. I've been uh, Scientologist for over 30 years, yeah. and uh, it's something that, as, as you know, without it, uh, I wouldn't be where I am. Yeah. However, the recent sexual assault conviction against Danny Masterson, an active member of the church, and a lawsuit filed by former member Leah Ramini against the church have revealed cracks in their carefully curated image and exposed the dichotomy of experiences within its ranks. So you're from you know, Oregon? I'm very critical. Yeah. I'm a classical music whoa, person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, am I talking too much? Why do you have to separate your members from their loved ones? Well, they're blacked out because nothing says transparency like blacked out windows, right? Scientology is dealing in human trafficking. Again, we talk about human trafficking all throughout the world, but it's happening right here in this building on Hollywood Boulevard, where hundreds of people right now are working 110 hours a week and getting paid zero dollars and living in a rooms in the compound in the old hospital, four to six per room, disconnected from their families, have no access to the internet, no cell phones. So you won't stop until Scientology is over. I mean, in Hollywood, we've effectively, this was their number one recruiting center. We effectively cut off their revenue as far as recruiting. I imagine that in the LA area, just by shutting down the Hollywood recruiting, we've effectively shut down about 75% of their recruiting, a lot of their new revenue. So if you're making such a big dent, have they intimidated any of you guys at all? I mean, well, have they tried to? Yes. I mean, just yesterday, they had private investigators reaching out to a member, uh, sort of trying to intimidate the family, had another private investigator reach out saying to a, 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 somebody at Streams out here, saying that the leaders of our movement have been making bomb threats against the Church of Scientology. So, yeah, that's what we, we've been dealing with plenty of it. Does it scare anybody? Listen, older generations, my generation, they were scared of Scientologists. They'd be like, oh, yeah, don't mess with them. They're gonna terrorize you. These yeah, these kids out here, they're not scared. I think I you were probably the first person I saw here. So how did you get all these young people to come out here? I just I just came out, started filming, was a little dedicated with it, and people started showing up just to sort of watch. And listen, it was about breaking the ice. People were scared of the Scientologists. I just I just had to show people that there's nothing to be afraid of. I could I did it on my own for a little while. And so people started coming out one by one. And you know, it's just become a thing. It's been organic. See, that, 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 that accused me of having a gun retreats. Well, where's this is ridiculous, streets. The helicopter is here because of you. What's going on, officer? I have the right to film. What's going on? Okay. What's going on? I'm under arrest. Under arrest for what? Fear or no fear, with an organization as powerful as the Church of Scientology, you know they won't go quietly into the night. The Church of Scientology has called the police 17 times since December 3rd. So you're talking about in a month and a half, they've called the cops 17 times. They have arrested us zero times. Listen, they have not even spoken to us and said, hey, don't do this, don't do that. You know, as far as the cops, the cops do come running to their aid or whatnot. But we do everything right. We don't put ourselves in the position where, you know, there could any, be any sort of legal action taken against us. What are they calling the cops about? What are they uh, saying you guys they are doing? Harassment. Uh, they've claimed uh, uh, loud noise. They've claimed bomb threats. Yesterday, they called the cops on me, claiming that I had a gun. Do you have a gun? On... <laughs> no. They also called the cops on somebody else who said he had a gun. He got handcuffed. But the thing is. Where's he at? There's a 16 year old kid right around here. They called the cops on him claiming he had a bomb. Expecting, you know, when you do things like that, the police are gonna show up a certain way. And they show up with a 16 year old kid who's emotional and that can get somebody hurt. Do you think the media is providing some cover for I, Scientology? I think the media is scared to cover Scientology. In a recent article by Rolling Stone, one of the few mainstream publications to cover the grassroots protest movement that I could find, the writer issued a caution highlighting that the parasocial relationship TikTok followers are forming with a certain handsome Scientology recruiter named Sebastian could be counterproductive. 
Quote, it may be distracting from the goal of disrupting church recruitment and even be working against the movement itself. Did you read the Rolling Stones article? I mean, you were in it. Garbage. The Rolling Stone article centered around a single Scientologist who the writer seemed to have a, a, a crush on and built an article around him. Nobody's talking about him. Talking about there is some sort of, it could create separation in a movement that could sink the movement. What is she talking about? Nobody's talking about Sebastian. It was, it was goofy. Additionally, she didn't challenge, Church Scientology said in the article that there were, the, they, that they've called the police on us 13 times. But she didn't mention that all 13 times. It was frivolous. And the cops never even talked to us. It was just them frivolously, frivolously calling the LAPD. So they were never challenged on these things. What is that? What's your reasonable suspicion to have them in cuffs? They called in as a crime and said he had a gun. There's no gun. Get him out of cuffs. Have you guys been in touch with any like governmental people trying to defund them or what's going no, on? No, listen, we're going to start pressing the issue on that. So what I've been saying is every elected official needs to be asked, what is their stance on Scientology's tax exempt status? Do they think that Scientology should lose their tax exempt status? Because what politician wants to be on record? Supporting tax exempt status for a human trafficking organization. We talk about human trafficking overseas. It's happening right here on Hollywood Boulevard. Somebody, we need to do something about it. And all it takes is the IRS stepping in. In 1993, the Church of Scientology won tax exempt status and has not been required to file annual tax returns with the IRS since. Thus, financial disclosures of the church have been incredibly difficult to come by in recent years. But estimates from Business Insider put Scientology's annual revenue from its many corporations, private donations, and real estate holdings at about $500 million. Ex-member Leah Ramini also says that the church charges members $800 an hour for spiritual counseling sessions known as auditing. And according to Open Secrets, between 2003 and 2022, the Church of Scientology spent $1.7 million on congressional lobbying. What is the future of this kind of army that you're building here? We're gonna end Scientology. With every David versus Goliath story, the underdog will inevitably face a long and difficult uphill battle. So I asked a few of the protesters, how long will you be out here? Till they shut down. The whole- a Billion years till they shut down. I was only supposed to do about two, three clips about this. And then I just start coming more, coming more, coming more. And I'm here every day now, so. And then are you gonna keep going until? Until, until I can't no more. I don't like what these guys are doing here. I don't like how they abuse their members and all that stuff. So I just wanted to help shut it down. All right, that's it for me this week. What are your thoughts on Scientology, on this ragtag group of protesters trying to take down Scientology? Who do you think will prevail? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you'd like to support my work, be sure to like this video, share it with as many people as you can, hit the subscribe button, and make sure that notification bell is turned on. As always, thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you in the next one.